Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements. In this video tutorial we're going to be using Photoshop Elements Premiere once again. I'm trying to rotate these uh, videos around to try to capture the audience if you're working on your videos or if you're working on your still clips with Photoshop Elements. First let me just take a minute to uh, say thanks to everybody out there that's actually purchased the DVDs of Photoshop Elements. Um, you are greatly helping out the show. I really do appreciate it. Um, but I always call upon you, the viewer, and tell you that these are here and available for you. Because I've seen some ads coming on YouTube. A lot of people say, Jack, why do you advertise this every single video? Because on YouTube, if I don't buy the AdWords, there's another person out there that these ads are popping up for their Elements videos and you think they're mine. And actually people are getting ripped off by buying those videos and I'm getting really upset with it. Um, and there's no way I can shut the ads off because I'm a YouTube partner and they put the ads up and I, I guess it generates revenue and so that's how that works. So by all means, if you're looking for Photoshop Elements videos, go to the source right here. JaxTechCorner.com. That's the only source you need to know if you're looking for high resolution videos and you're looking for the videos that I've completed. All these DVDs actually have what I call DVD exclusives on them, which means there's a lot of videos on here. It's never se never been seen before um, on the internet. So they're there for you. Um, please pick them up. It definitely helps me out. Like I said, we're trying to uh, take the show to the next level and go into Photoshop Elements 8, which is released. Uh, I've been uh, showing you some of the, the demo version, and we want to get that purchased. And if you want to just help out, maybe just click the Donate button. I know times are tough. But click the donation button and maybe uh, donate a little cash flow there, and that'll help to uh, get those funds I need. So remember, jackstechcorner.com. Don't click that little ad that comes up that says uh, Photoshop Elements Videos by that guy because it's going to cost you a fortune. Yeah, you're going to really get hurt on your credit card if you buy from him because I heard it, it's not really an up and up deal. So, All right, enough with that. Let's get rid of this, and let's go into this lesson. Now this lesson, we talked so far, uh, working with this same video clip here, we talked about creating the video, laying out the timeline. Uh, we talked about doing some audio engineering. We've seen that video already. Now today I'm going to show you that we need to get to the point now where we're actually going to make our disk menu. We're going to make that DVD menu um, so we can get that menu to come up on your on your TV screen. Or, or grandma or grandpa can sit back and flip through different scenes. You know, you've seen that on the DVD before. I'm going to show you how you actually make those uh, markers on your video and then show you how it's going to come up on the DVD menu. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. Here's our video. We know we can preview just by sliding. Right, you can do a real slow preview. Uh, we can just play the video out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now what we're going to look at though is we're going to put some markers in here. Now, at the very beginning, if you want a marker at the beginning to start you off, you could do that. What's going to happen is when you hit play movie, it's going to add a marker right there anyway. But I'd like to put one in there just to be sure I have it right after the opening scene because that's a picture that we did. We're going to go in right about here. Go over here to where it says add a menu marker. And just set a marker. Give this uh, opening game. We'll give it a name. You can see it's marker one of one. A type marker, it's a scene marker. We also have a main menu marker and we have a stop marker. So we'll just make them scene menus or scene markers. I'm sorry. Now, motion menu button, what that means, if you turn that on, there'll actually be a little game clip playing there. We don't want that on. Let's leave that off. And click OK. Now, if you look at the little green dot here, now there's a marker there. So if you find out later it's not exactly where you want it, you can slide that marker back and forth. We can right-click on it. We can actually go down. We can delete that marker. We can clear, uh, clear the menu marker so we can get rid of it. But for now, we're going to leave it right there. Now let's go further down our video. And we'll look 
down through here. Usually at a football game, what you would do is you would find out the uh, halftime. So what I'm looking for here, I'm just going to scroll through here, maybe look for halftime. Let's just say for demonstration purposes, it's right there. Let's click on Add a Scene Marker. And this time, we're going to name this one Halftime. All right. Click OK. Another thing I like to do with videos, especially when you're working with these videos, um, you know, of your, of your kids and uh, important parts of maybe uh, the football game they're in, maybe they did something spectacular. You want to scroll through. Um, you're going to find that scene. Maybe right here, you can see where this uh, defensive player here is standing up uh, the offensive player. And maybe this is uh, a Jimmy. All right. Let's add a marker. And we're going to put uh, Jimmy uh, defense defensive move. Okay. Jimmy defensive move. And we'll put a marker there. That way, if you want to show somebody, somebody says, man, I'm getting bored watching this football game. It's really good. Uh, the kids did a nice job, but I'm kind of getting bored watching it. Say, hey, wait, I want you to see Jimmy's big uh, football move. So now we'll have a marker for that. Once you get your marker set up, all we got to do now is we're going to go to Disk Menu. And if you load all the additional content, and I would suggest you do this, from your uh, DVD, from... Adobe, Shop, Adobe Photoshop Premiere Elements. Load the extra content, you'll get a lot of extra disk menus. As you see, I did not do that at this point, so I just have the one. Click Apply. That's going to throw the disk menu over here. There we go. Now that we have the disk menu, you'll notice that we also have one here marked Scenes and Play to play the video straight off. And up here we have the title. Just double click on the title, we can change this. Um, football game, we'll say October 2009. Click OK. Now we actually have a nice title up here. This media content right here, if you go back to your organizer, let me scroll through. I don't know where those pictures are right now. Oh, wait, let's select an album here. I'm going to select an album. We're going to pull down to that album that we've been working with. As soon as we find it here. It's right here. And now all these ones down here these are all the still pictures. Remember, this is the video up here. We'll grab this picture here. You can even grab this one maybe since it's something different. We could throw that in there. We can resize it. We can move it around a little bit. All right. Now, what's nice about this is you can see now we have the main menu and then we have the scene markers one. So if you have more, you can actually have more scenes here listed here and it auto generated those based on our markers so let's click on preview and see what it looks like so we have a little audio to go with it and here's our scenes here's our opening game that's the marker we created here's a halftime that we created and then here's that Jimmy's defensive move so you click on one of those, and as you see, it goes right to that point. I 
You can uh, preview it full screen. Again, we can go right here to the halftime area. You can see now that's exactly where that marker was. Let's just stop that and go ahead and get out of here. If you click on the scene menu you can come here, you can change this also. I mean, you can come in here and you can double click and edit that if you'd like to do that. Go back to the main menu right here from the scene menu and uh, so so forth and there you go. So that's it. That's how you actually go in here and actually create a uh, a disk menu. Now, you don't need a disk menu. If you burn this thing straight to your DVD, when you pop it in your DVD player, it's just going to start playing. So I always suggest to have a disk menu. It makes the total uh, program, the total process of doing your photo editing very nice looking, very crisp. Um, gives it that professional touch, that professional feel. So that's about it in the disk menu. I'm going to wrap up this video tutorial. And once again, as always, stop by jackstechcorner.com. Have a look around. If nothing else, get involved a little bit. Click on the forums. Um, I noticed I check on it a couple times a week. And I noticed not a lot of you have been in the forums. I'm actually uh, starting right now. It's very, very early. So um, don't start asking me or sending a bunch of emails. But I'm starting at, cre at creating an online uh, type community or an online type class. Um, it's going to be a straight up class. It's going to it's probably going to be uh, Photoshop elements to start us off and it will take you through step by step by step on how to use Photoshop elements um, pretty much the way I teach it in a classroom and that's going to help you out immensely um, and believe me the cost on this thing if any is going to be minimal uh, just enough to cover some of the time uh, it takes to get everything put together and it does always help with the hosting fees. Um, remember, when you have websites, we have to pay some, you know, the big guy to host the websites for us because I don't have any servers sitting in the house. So. All right, folks, so until next time, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, it always humbles me how many of you out there actually watch these videos. Comment uh, and make sure you email me. Let me know you're out there and you're watching and, and you're enjoying the videos or, or you have a suggestion for a new video. Uh, until next time. Keep those camcorders rolling, keep that film clicking by, keep Photoshop Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements Editors editing, and you too will have some beautiful content to share with your family and friends. Till next time, take care. I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.